How on earth can we get any better than the XLX2? Even though that we've done easily over 160 miles an hour in Spartan over here, we've also pulled a freaking school bus, which is over 20,000 pounds. Cobra Ace, on the other hand, this guy has a more unrestricted firmware that allows you to push more power. Welcome back to Innovation RC. Brand new RC room. I finally just got done setting everything up, but I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the brand new release from Castle. A couple brand new large scale ESCs. What's the difference between them and how do they stack up with the previous models? That's what we're gonna find out today. So if that seems interesting, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more. I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit. And here we are. The biggest upgrade in this room is actually the room itself. At least to me it is. I've never had my own RC room to do all my RC stuff, the bills, just to hang out, whatever, you know, all that stuff. And if you guys were just wondering on attendance, we have Spartan, we have Vision, which is literally double the power of what Spartan is running. That's the dual motor car, liquid cooled hydro, shockwave with the active wing. Anyway, make sure you say hi to Spartan. We're gonna get up to this review over here and I'm going to show you guys which one of these motors will correlate the best or multiple um, with which ESC and I'll explain to you guys everything we're also going to be doing a size comparison there's a Cobra 8 and inside Spartan he's our 160 mile an hour GT car I'm going to show you this setup and why it works decently well and runs so efficient we're also going to be doing some data logging and I'm going to show you guys what's new and the brand new Cobra ESC is over here if all this seems interesting let's hop right into it <laughs> Oh my God, I have an awesome chair. Grab a seat, why don't you? So the first large scale 8S ESC from Castle was the XLX 8S. That's just that. There was no data logging in that one. Up next, there was the XL2, which is exactly like this, but there was some data logging and you know, it's just a little step up. And then there's the last final version, which is this guy, but this is discontinued. So this is the last model and I'm not even gonna be running this one. So this ESC, it was pretty much a workhorse. It's a 400 amp ESC, can run it up to 8S. It is not waterproof and there is data logging. Long story short, this ESC over here is really the OG. I actually ran this in shockwave before I stretched him, which is actually over here when I had the turbine um, Typhon actually. Um, I had an XLX and a TP4070, which is this guy, 2900 KV. I literally had it in there and I did 120, 130. I don't even remember, it's been so long. But this was the original ESC to do that on. And I ran it on 6S, not 8S. So 2900 KV, you want that on 6S. Um, if you were to run that on 8S, you're blowing this thing up. So I would recommend with this guy, if you, I mean, <laughs> if any of you guys have the CSC anymore, stay below 2000 KV if you are running this thing on 8S and make sure you check your temperatures. You just gotta be really careful. This is a relic. This one I'm not even running. Um, I just have this honestly to put on the shelf because this is where it all started and I wanna make sure I keep one safe and yeah. Moving forward a few years from the XLX, we now have the XLX2. I would say easily by far the most hardy, most durable. This is the ESE that can really push a lot of power and this thing was a game changer over here. This is a five to 600 amp ESC and this thing is just a huge, huge upgrade compared to the original XLX. You could literally draw the same amount of amps and go probably 20, 30 miles an hour faster with this. Just because of the cryo drive, the board is more efficient, all that stuff. And with this guy, I'm actually gonna show you, is inside Spartan right now. This is a fifth scale motor that we got in here with the XLX2. It's not mounted just because I did some maintenance on Spartan. I haven't even ran them in a while just because I haven't been able to find a long road. But you can see this massive whopping fifth scale TP motor. Um, keep in mind, the higher up in KV that you go, you don't want to do that. So let's say if we had the same, almost the same KV, like 2,000, 3,000 KV um, of a fifth scale motor, you're gonna hurt the ESC because all of these large scale ESCs are designed to run with lower KV, which is 800, 1100, and even the 1700. Although it will draw a lot more amps, but usually under 1700 is like a sweet spot. Um, this is a 1200 KV right here, and I think this is the best running motor um, when it comes to just brute power. Was it as efficient as the Castle? Maybe not, because this is a six pole, that's a four pole. You know, even this thing. I mean, this thing I've done 159 miles an hour with. Um, yeah, so it's still crazy enough, and it sounds just gruesome. And just imagine, there's two of these 
and vision over there. It's just ridiculous. So honestly, I built a pointless car. I can't even run them. I, I don't have a road. Anyway, so regardless if it's sensor to sensorless, this is a 1270 kV. And around this KV is actually perfect with what you want to run an XLX2 and the new Cobra 5, not the Ace, but just the Cobra 5. So regarding the XLX2 over there, the best motors that I would say to run with it if you're going to be speed running is going to be between the 1100 and the 1700 KV or a large scale TP motor. Personally, I really, this is my favorite TP motor. This is right here. It's a 56. 70 I believe 1260 and um, or 1260 or 1270. I, I don't even know but either way it's around 1200 kV um, I would just say like 16 17 1800 kV would be probably around perfect uh, for 8s applications So that's the XLX2 that we all know about. This is such a good ESC But it just got replaced with something newer and better and now the brand new things from castle We have the new Cobra 5 and the Cobra 5 ace and I have a Cobra 8 here just to show you guys We're back to back right now just the size comparison and with the original XLX2 it's actually identical So it is the same exact size and the faster things process takes less time less energy boosting your efficiency So we need the processor to be faster in which that's why all these new uh, Cobra ESCs, they have the new uh, software from where all that stuff, which I'm going to also be showing you guys on the laptop. So now the largest difference that you won't actually see whether it's on the data log or not is that, well, these ESCs, um, they're going to push completely different. Um, this one has restrictions, limiters and whatnot just to make sure it doesn't blow up, just to make sure if let's say you have a bad solder joint, nothing's going to catch. Well, I'm not going to say nothing's going to catch fire, but you know, th there's more restrictions to just make sure you are okay. The Cobra Ace, on the other hand, this guy has a more unrestricted firmware that allows you to push more power. Hence why there's no warranty with this guy. And as cool as that is, well, blowing up is not cool at all. So that's why there's a lot of, uh, um, you know, caution signs as soon as you get this in the box, whatnot, which is completely understandable. If you put in a direct drive or overdrive setup like in Spartan, and let's say I play with it outside, uh-uh, you, you will blow something up. So that's not why you get this ESC. You need to make sure you know what you're doing, your solder joints are good and all that. I mean, still, I would say the same with the Cobra 5, the regular one, um, it's still gonna push a lot of power. You can still pull 400 plus amps with it. It might not be as powerful as its predecessor though, which I did actually feel, not that that's a bad thing, but they did not aim the original Cobra 5 to be more powerful than the XLX2. So I would actually, in power order, put it like this. And it's only because they just want you to, you know, not blow up. They want you to have a good ESC, and you know, they, they want it to last long if you buy it. So that's the principle of the Cobra 5 in which it's still gonna perform really well. And as I said, we hit over a hundred miles an hour in my Arma Big Rock 6S with a 2400 kV speed run motor, even though on the website it specifies do not run this with higher kV. It's actually gonna recommend you to run it on the 800, the 1100, the 1721 1260. So not the 2400, it's half the RPM. Um, yeah, so this is really just a large high quality basher ESC that you could still put some good numbers up with So that's the Cobra 5 now comparing both of these guys, you know, we've done over 160 miles an hour We pulled a friggin school bus with this thing, you know There's so much that we have done with the XLX2. How on earth can it be better? This is pretty much just less governed than the XLX2 and the XLX2 has a little bit less restrictions than the Cobra 5 the original one um, so in power order, I would actually put this right here, Cobra 5, XLX2, and then the Cobra 5 Ace. If you have a large scale, low ZDBXL, Creighton 8S, X-Max, this is gonna be the go-to ESC. And if you guys have questions, I'm talking to you right now, ask me, because here's the thing, you'll pay for a two, $300 ESC, you know, despite what it is, and even with this one, if you don't know what you're doing, catastrophic failures, are imminent, it, they really are. So here we go, we have the Cobra 5 ACSC over here, we have it all USB'd in over here, boop, 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 bam. And here we have the home screen of the Castle Link 2. Um, we have our basic stuff, which is what we already pretty much know about already. Uh, power, you have start power, start power ramp time, start power hold time, max power, uh, all that good stuff. And keep in mind, this is actually a drag race ESC. So it's gonna wanna put out as much power as possible within a certain amount of time. And you can limit that 
You know, the more traction that you get, all the power in the world, you just need to harness it and put it to the ground. Um, that's what all of this stuff is here for. And you guys can play with that, obviously. Uh, brake, brake amount, drag brake, drag brake ramp. We already know that. Advanced, we have our aux mode. Throttle dead band, perfect pass ramp time. Current limiting, none, which is what we like. We like no limits, of course. Motor direction, motor type, sensorless motor, RPM limit, which is actually kind of good if you're trying to limit an RPM out with the motor because if you guys remember the 2400 kV motor from Castle, yeah, it's made to go with these ESCs, but if you put too much load with the, with the motor that's pumping too much RPM, bam, you're gonna hurt the ESC and that could cause a fire. And now here we have the motor timing and as you guys could see, if you're drag racing, you're probably gonna wanna run some timing, um, but you could literally do everything. Boost timing requires censored only mode, Turbo timing, and it also requires a sensor, and you could literally tell it when to enter, when to stop, all that stuff, and you could do a lot of that. Now, the data logging also, you can see that we also have acceleration and motor timing. You can actually see with the data logging, um, whenever the timing kicks in, your acceleration and G-force, um, that's why you need to consider controller orientation power wires to the front of the car. If it's like that, in which it's like that, but Spartan, um, we would get our G-Force, which is pretty darn cool. You could go all the way up to 20 samples a second, which is incredibly accurate, but it's gonna fill up super quick too. So you also have your throttle curve, brake curve, and now the reverse curve. You could also tell when the throttle to kick in, all that stuff, the software, everything is here. Uh, safe print, and I believe that is it. So for the most part, guys, this ESC is the real deal. All right, so we're pretty much done here, guys. If you enjoyed this or you found this informative, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more. I appreciate every single one of you who watch and also Casa Creations. Keep up the good work. As always, make sure you stay safe, have good solder connections, and have a good one. <laughs>